Action VFX plus no graph equals awesome. Let's do this. So recently I had the privilege of working on a couple of shows uh, for NBC, one specifically for NBC Sports. It's a YouTube show called Off The Dribble. We only have two days for production and post-production on this show, so everything has to be turned around pretty quickly, which means that there's not a lot of time uh, for rendering or doing complex builds or anything like that. On a recent episode, we had a segment called Great Balls of Fire, and as is the case for most of these uh, episodes, um, there is very little creative input, no creative briefs at all. So the producer relies, relies pretty heavily on me to design and animate and get them done. The only, uh, on this particular segment, the only input that was uh, was given was they wanted a basketball uh, on fire. So enter Action VFX. Now, Action VFX assets are typically used in your stereotypical visual effects type of a shot. And there are tons of tutorials on uh, YouTube that can show you in a better way than I can on how to do that. But I wanted to kind of show you how you can also use some of these same assets in kind of an atypical motion graphics kind of way. So let me show you what I did here. Okay, so let me show you how I did this. So uh, let's open up After Effects here. Okay, so here is, um, this is basically the final product. Now I made some changes from the final product for legal reasons, but this is pretty much what the final product was minus the logo and some fonts. So there's, another, there's nothing super groundbreaking here. We have a background plate um, that had the logo in it um, and some flaming balls that come flying in from screen left as well as some element 3D text. So these uh, basketballs are actually one basketball, which is a stock photo. Um, so the text is just extruded text layers in Element 3D. And if you'd like me to go over how to do uh, that in more detail, let me know in the comments below and I can whip up, whip up a tutorial to go through the process in a more detailed manner. So um, for the flaming balls, um, let me go ahead and stop this here. So for the uh, flaming balls, I built them inside of a pre-comp. And, uh, and I did that because I wanted to add a, uh, uh, I wanted to add a drop shadow to the entire layer with the flame assets. So let's go into the pre-comp here. So this is Fireball 1. Um, and uh, let's see here, let's fit this. Um, so it's a pretty good sized um, pre-comp. Uh, it's 4096 by 2160 and that has actually more to do with the uh, fireball assets or the torch assets they're just uh, they're just really long and I just wanted to make sure that nothing got cut off um, so um, we have the uh, bottom layer here is the basketball and I, I applied a, uh, a drop shadow uh, to that I've, I'm using um, Boris FX sapphire drop shadow uh, and the reason I use this is actually probably one of the most used um, Sapphire plugins that I use. You can use the stock drop shadow as uh, uh, stop stock drop shadow plugin. There we go. <laughs> um, but I, I I use Boris FX uh, drop shadow because there's just so many more parameters that allow me to tweak in uh, the look that I'm going for, and so I, that's why I use that. But you can use the stock drop shadow plugin uh, inside of uh, After Effects. So on top of that, I added the torch elements, and there's actually two. Uh, different elements that I'm using here is this torch light wind four um, and that's uh, that's that longer tail uh, right there and then at about mm, about the 10 second or 10 frame mark we switch to something that's a little bit more um, sedu subdued wow I cannot talk I'm sorry I'm kind of still feeling under the weather here um, a little bit more su subdued <laughs> And, uh, um, but uh, so these particular assets right here, these are specific, uh, they actually have a brand new, um, Action VFX has a brand new um, torch uh, library that has a bunch of different uh, torch assets. And what's really, really great about the torch assets as opposed to um, all of the flame assets, because you can go back here and you can see all of the various different flame assets. And what's unique about the torch 
storage assets, you can kind of see it in some of these examples. So when you've got a torch here, um, it's you know usually kind of the end of a stick or a ball, um, and so uh, they composite so much easier onto something spherical or something uh, that has uh, what would replicate or what would be some kind of a torch or something like that. And so that's one of the reasons why I used these specific specific assets because. Obviously, I have a basketball here, which is a spherical uh, object. So uh, they, as you can see right here, it just beautifully wraps around that basketball. And it's really, really great. So this particular segment card is uh, only a few seconds long. It'll only be on the screen for a few seconds. So I really only need to sell the shot for a few seconds before, you know, we kind of exit out of that. As you can kind of see right here, um, you know, they come in and then, you know, and then boom, it flies out. So it's a really quick shot. So it doesn't need to be on there for very long. So now that the pre-comp is done, um, uh, uh, oh, actually, let me go into the background here. Let me show you how I created this background. So, um, so on the uh, background layer here, uh, I actually am using. Uh, I initially was using just the gradient, but then I decided I wanted to add um, some texture to this. So um, I went ahead and used Sapphire's S effect, which allows me to build my own effect. Because what you'll see here when I open this up is I have the. Um, I have the, let me uh, preview select node. So I have the gradient, which is what I actually initially started with. Um, but I wanted to add some grunge on top of that uh, to give it kind of, you know, kind of a little bit of a gritty look. So I can add the S grunge uh, effect on top of that. And then I'm overlaying that onto the gradient and uh, to give it kind of that look that it's going for. On top of that, um, scroll all the way to the top here on top of that I've got uh, this little court kind of markings illustrator file that I created to look you know for the basketball court um, and then on top of that I have a brushed texture um, and this is basically just um, uh, fractal noise um, that I stretched out to kind of give it a little, a little bit of a brushed metal look um, so one of the things that I did here um, with these particular pre-comps is I actually went ahead and I, let me actually turn off that. Um, I went ahead and positioned them accordingly, according to the way that I wanted them to kind of land. And then of course I dropped a keyframe right there. Uh, I went back to the beginning and then I moved them all off of, let's go ahead and show layer controls here. Um, I went ahead and I moved them all off uh, screen uh, to where I needed them to be and at about the what is this uh, the what uh, about three uh, frame mark I kind of adjusted the Y position a little bit um, so that there's some you know kind of some visual randomness as it kind of flies in here um, and then they all land there and then of course I put some easy ease uh, uh, some easy easing on the X keyframes so they uh, have a little bit easing as they kind of fly in right there um, and then uh, I went ahead and I actually adjusted the uh, the actual pre-comp uh, the actual timing of the pre-comp as opposed to the keyframes because this actually accomplishes two things then they're all of course not all coming in at the same time um, so I think I had the middle one coming in first and then the back one and then the uh, front one and so they're all not and they're all coming in at different times um, but also to this also um, uh, this also adjusts the actual timing of the flame assets as well too so they're not all going at the exact same uh, time um, and uh, let's see there then let's turn this off okay so one of the additional things that I added here um, was I added some uh, added these uh, spark elements uh, here which you can also actually you can also get at uh, the site, uh, let's see, was it uh, particles? I think, yeah, there's particles. Um, yeah, we got fire embers and, and various, I think I actually got it from, yes, fire sparks close right here. 
So um, uh, I went ahead and actually got it from this collection. Here we are. Yeah, there we are. Nice, nice, nice. Um, but I went ahead and opted for this particular stock asset because it was just quicker. Um, and it gave it a kind of a hint of um, uh, an added element uh, to that. So that's basically how um, I created this. So I didn't realize until after I was done and the show was already live on YouTube, uh, that would have been a nice, uh, would have been nice to add uh, kind of a touch of rotation to the balls as they fly in. Um, but most people are probably not going to notice until someone like me, the designer, points it out like I just did. And now you will always notice it when you see it. So that's how I went about putting this project together. If you got value out of this particular video, definitely hit that subscribe button. You can hit that little bell uh, notification button. Give me a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Smash it 2019 style. <laughs> I don't know why I keep uh, mimicking uh, Peter McKinnon there, sorry. And I just wanted to say that Action VFX, this is not a sponsored video, and Action VFX is not paying me uh, to say any of this. I've been a huge fan of their products for a long time. Uh, and, you know, not only are their assets high quality, super high quality, you can get up to, what, 5K raw. You can actually get the raw, um, uh, red files as well too, but not only are, not only are their products super amazing and high quality, but they're also some of the best human beings that you will ever meet. They're really, really great people. So I'll put a link in the description below, and just so you're aware, it is an affiliate link. You do not have to click on it. You can go to their site directly and buy. But if you want to help the channel out, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much, and bye for now. Where my glitches at? They're right here. Where my